Hey YouTube fam, it's Jen315 yet again back with another video. So this is going to be a quick little video. It's just me sharing this great revelation uh, I received from the Lord uh, yesterday when I was in the shower. And so basically, um, anyone who uh, knows me or hears me talk about God, they know I'm always referring to you know, faith and belief in God and His Son Jesus Christ as a personal relationship. Like, I'm always constantly introducing Christ as a relationship to people. I'm always, you know, you know, giving people that message that this is not a religion, this is a relationship. And come on, who doesn't want to be in, like, the greatest love relationship ever? Like, I'm talking about that unconditional love that I love you just because of you not because of anything you've done or are going to do or anything that i'm doing i just love you for who you are that type of love and not that love with contingencies like as long as you don't get on my nerves type of love you know that good genuine authentic pure fresh love so that only comes from our father god and uh and his great son jesus christ and so anyways so the revelation was i was in a shower Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to be honest, you guys. So, I was in the shower, and earlier that day, um, basically, um, what's today? Friday. Okay, so yesterday was Thursday. So, Wednesday, I think, was it Wednesday? Okay, so basically, Wednesday night, um, I went to go see my boyfriend, um, and it was late, so he was real tired from work. But I just wanted to see him for, like, a little bit. You know, just say we love each other, you know, maybe a little smooch anyways. So, um, because I'm always thinking about him. So, point being, um, um, I, I'm always thinking about God first, and then I'm always thinking about him. Anyways, point being, so, he was, like, really tired. And, like, he was, like, really uninterested. So, I was, like, feeling like, okay, definitely time for me to go. So, point was, um, it was, like... A weird night so I just left and basically um we didn't kiss or anything he's just really tired and he gave me a compliment you know normally when he sees me he's like oh look at you and you know he did that but he was like really tired he's like oh look at you and I'm like you might as well have kept that to yourself so anyways so the next day I was kind of thinking about that and I told him I was like I thought you was like mad at me he's like why would I be mad at you and I'm like Cause he was like just being weird and not talking so anyways and so basically the next day you know we normally be texting each other and stuff and i was like telling him good morning good night and he wasn't texting back and so i was just like i guess he's like really still tired and stuff so i wasn't harassing him or anything you know i was giving him some space and time you know letting him be himself and i was thinking though when i was in the shower though i was like dang he hasn't texted me like all day i was like maybe it's something wrong with his phone or maybe he's just like really busy but i was like thinking about it and i will admit i did feel some type of way you know i'm like hey i'm over here texting you're not texting back like you know i, I you know this is like feeling one-sided here so point being god was like that's how he feels sometimes with us it with prayer you know, in order to sustain a relationship, you have to communicate. Like, there cannot be no, I love you, and you don't talk to the person. Like, you can't be like, man, I love you, and you never say anything to them. And you know, it's like, unless something happens, like, you need them, you know? And that's how God feels with us. Like, he wants us to talk to him, even if it's just for three minutes, you guys. Like, three minutes a day, five minutes, ten minutes. Like, the more we spend with him, like... You know, in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy, and the joy of the Lord is our strength. So the more time we spend with Him, the stronger we are spiritually. And that's why I like to start my day off with prayer, because we need to be um, prepared for everything that's going to go on today. Like, we cannot endure this day without Him. And so that's why He was talking, because, you know, sometimes I get laxed in prayer. Sometimes I don't feel like it. But, you know, you have to carry on. Like, you have to remind yourself, like, and then when I actually do do genuine prayers, like, I always feel at home, at peace. You know, my spirit feels right within itself. And I'm like, this is where I belong with my daddy. You know, I need to, you know, be talking to him. I need to, you know, hear from headquarters. Like, uh, this one pastor says sometimes, he's like, I got to hear from headquarters. Anyways, moving on. So, 
yeah so um always keep that in mind like always remember that God is our father you know we want this relationship with him and in order for the relationship to continuously be built and growing you know it has to involve communication you know and communication is not one-sided yeah we can talk to him but he wants us to listen sometimes okay most times if not all the times he wants us to listen to him because you know he has foreknowledge foresight he knows what's going to happen so if you come to him at the beginning of your day and you speak to him and then you wait to hear back from him you can know how to prepare yourself for that day. So you may, you know, intend to wake up and, you know, go run an errand at a particular place. And he's like telling you, no, don't go to that store. You know, go to this location. And you're like, why? I always go to that store, you know. And But if you listen, then you'll realize that, you know, maybe that store was getting held up that day. And, you know, you dodged a bullet on that one literally and so you know it's just really good and you know he always gives us you know visions and stuff and insight you know when we're planning especially our futures and stuff so i mean he says to himself he knows the plans he has for us plans of good not of evil to prosper us give us hope of future and expected end so that's pretty much all i had you guys um yeah so let's just always you know stay in communication with god and that's all prayer is it's just a conversation like i try to tell people i like when i'm with my boyfriend and i'm trying to encourage him to pray i'm like let's say something to god you know and he says something you know and it, you know short sweet and to the point like it doesn't have to be this long dragged out prayer like i'm telling you three minutes you guys just do it three minutes a day when you wake up just say thank you lord you know thank you i have I see, you know, I have sight. I'm not blind. You woke me up. I have my hands are working. I can see. I can hear. I can taste. I have food to taste. I have water. You know, people don't have fresh water to drink. I can easily go to the bathroom and take a shower. I can take two showers a day. Who has that privilege? Not too many people. I have clean water coming out the faucet. I can do my laundry. I have clean underwear. You know, you know, I just have so many blessings and amenities and how can I not say thank you I freaking woke up this morning like (laughs) sorry for saying freaking but you know like I woke up this morning but you know like who said I had to and you know there's no pain in my body you know I'm in my right mind you know just talk to him and be grateful and that's all he wants three minutes a day you guys so that's really what this video is about you know sustaining a tight intimate relationship with God by continuously growing it day by day with prayer prayer is a conversation if you could talk to your friend on the phone all night you could talk to God for three minutes so I challenge each and every one of you uh, that is watching this video let's do a three day three minute prayer challenge for the next three days straight for three minutes solid straight talk to God And at the end of those three minutes, wait to hear back from him. Let's learn to listen to our daddy. Okay, you guys, let's do it. Hashtag three-day prayer challenge and share this vid. Like it, thumbs it up. Let me know who's going to do the challenge. Let me know what you think um, about, you know, your, um, your thoughts on how you view prayer. Do you see it as a conversation? Do you see your faith as a relationship? You know? So, I would just would love to hear from each and every one of you guys. And I'm pretty excited. So, that's all I got. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a great, blessed day. And let's just... Let's just grow together. Okay? Let's stay on this journey together. I'm just looking forward to hearing from all you guys. Comment down below. And uh, I'll check you out later, you guys. That's all I got. Bye. Oh, let's pray. (laughs) Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will just touch each and every person that is watching this video, that is hearing the sound of my voice, that you will encourage us and motivate us and push us to seek your face daily and to desire a closer, more intimate relationship with you. We love you. We praise you. We worship you. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And we thank you in advance for what you're going to do through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.